In this video, we will be going through the different attribution models for Google Ads, how you can use them, how to choose between them, some of the pros and cons between all of the different attribution models, and why it's a problem for digital marketers today, and moving forward, why you need to be thinking about it for either your business or your client's business. When a purchase or conversion happens on a website, we like to look at the path of interactions that a user takes throughout their journey. And the reason why this is so important is because we can really influence how a user goes through the entire funnel, how ads interface with the user, and what we can do about it moving forward. Historically, most attribution models have been single point, meaning it's either been first click or last click attribution. However, over the last one or two years, other attribution models, it's really important to understand what they do where it's necessary to use them, and how to move about it moving forward. In Google Ads specifically, there are five or six typical attribution models. You've got last click, first click, linear, time decay, position-based, and data-driven. And we'll dive into some examples here, but I think it's really important to understand the purchase journey or purchase path that a typical consumer makes. So in this example here, this user has done a search for apartments in Uptown. They might see an ad, they may do that on desktop, they come back on mobile, see an ad again, they read some reviews for another touch point, they then come again to the site again on their mobile or tablet, do another search, go to the Google My Business, see another ad, and then they finally do the final conversion action that we like. It's not the case typically where a user will do one search in one action and then convert right on the spot. Now that does happen, but there are ways where we can look at the entire purchase funnel and this is where attribution comes into play and is extremely important. As I've mentioned previously, last click attribution models is the attribution model that have been best practice in PPC for the last 10 years. I mean, pretty much since the inception of Google Ads, this has been the go-to attribution model. And this simply means that this is giving all of the credit to the final action that someone does before they convert. Typically what you see here is someone who does a brand search or a final touch point prior to converting and then all of the credit is assigned to that final touch point. So you're really able to see what works and what doesn't work from that final touch point. On the flip side, you've got a first click attribution model. You're able to look at that first click that a user makes within their journey and then optimize around that. So these are all in attribution models is typically what I call them. You're giving all of the credit to that last point and that first point. But what you typically miss in these models is you're missing that journey. You're not able to optimize around different ways that things are being influenced because you're not considering the whole funnel. Brand terms typically are going to be last click, but you might have some navigational or informational queries that are going to be mid to top of funnel. And those queries are going to perform very differently compared to brand terms. So that's why the introduction of additional attribution models is important. An attribution model that distributes credit equally across the entire conversion path is called the linear attribution model. And that's just simply assigning equal credit to every touch point along the path. You've then got time decay attribution model, meaning the closer that you get to that final conversion action, the more credit is given. So if there's 20 touch points, that first touch point is going to get the least amount of conversion, is going to get the least amount of value, and then leading up to that final search, that's going to get the most amount of value. You've then got position-based attribution modeling, which tries to give you the best of both worlds. It assigns equal credit to the first and to the last, and then it equally distributes it in the middle. In this example here, if there were four touch points, you would receive 40% in the first touch point, 40% in the last touch point, and then 10% in the middle here. So it gives the most to the first and the last, and then equally distributes the rest in the middle. This is typically good because it truly is considering the whole journey. The benefit of these three models is that credit is being assigned to the journey versus going all in on one touch point. For Google Ads specifically, there is one more attribution model called data-driven attribution. And exactly what data-driven is, is it takes your account history into detail and it looks at everything along the path that may have happened to custom assigned value based on every single touch point and channel. So Google will be looking at email specifically to see here's how much credit that we should assign to that channel. Here's how much paid search should get. It's going to look at all the different touch points as well to determine what type of first click, last click, time decay, all type of different attribution models. And it's going to take the account's history into detail when going through that. So for this example here, 
Google may determine that 15% should be going to email, 30% here, 18 to display, and 37 to organic. Data-driven attribution model over the last six months has gone under a lot of revisions. Previously, you had to have 3,000, 5,000 clicks to be eligible for that attribution model. Google has gotten rid of that, and you're now able to go with data-driven off the start. I'll dive in in a few minutes to kind of explain if that's a good idea or not. So now that you have a very basic understanding of attribution modeling, what do you do about it? There's a, several things that you can do, like comparing data within the interface, finding out what works best for your clients. I'm going to walk you through several examples of like a pros and cons list as well and how I typically approach it. But before we do that, let's jump into the interface to see how these models kind of look in a specific account. In order to review this attribution reporting within Google Ads, you need to go to the attribution section by searching attribution in the top menu, select up there, or go to tools and settings and then select measurement and attribution and you'll land on this screen right here. The purposes of this report that we wanna look at is something called the model comparison tool. And then you can see exactly how is last click or one attribution model comparing to another. Typically for a date range, you want to select a longer time period because you'll get more data. It'll take things into account like the time lag for conversion or look back window, all that kind of stuff. So typically the more data you put, you give this, the more comfortable you're going to feel with your analysis. So for purposes of this, I'm going to look at last click attribution versus data driven. And the first thing that I'm seeing is that this campaign right here, which I know I'm blurring out campaign names, this is a non-brand campaign. And what this is telling me is that I am missing out on potentially 500 conversions where we could have received more credit and we could have assigned more influencing factors in the way that we're bidding for those types of campaigns. So the purposes of attribution isn't to make one channel look good over the other. It's how is Google ads impacting the bottom bottom line of the business and what can we do about it. So I can be more aggressive on this one campaign because we're missing on more conversions potentially. You can also look at other attribution models to compare last click to so I can see how does last click compare to position based, where am I missing out on. You can then analyze some of this data and determine what to do with next steps. Now the major X factor here for me in my mind with attribution is smart bidding. Smart bidding is going to take into account all these different customer touch points in the path and how to optimize efficiently. If you have all in attribution models like last click or first click, it's going to try to get you as many of that as possible versus if you have something like position based or data driven, it's going to look at the entire customer journey, optimize around that, and it's going to allow you to make more of an impact theoretically on the customer's business versus just going all in on one conversion action. Now, just a high-level overview with next steps here, we're considering what are some of the pros and cons with the last-click all-in attribution models versus things like data-driven, position-based, linear, or other attribution models. One of the biggest pros with last click or first click is that it's just really black and white. It's straightforward. You know what worked exactly. Now on the flip side for data driven, you're able to look at value amongst every single touch point on the customer journey to find out how things are being influenced. And you can take smart bidding into account to potentially 10x your results. There's a lot more scalability on the data driven position based and that side of things. Now smart bidding does work on the last click and first click side, but you're not able to scale it as effectively as you would be able to on data-driven or position-based. Now, some of the cons on last click and the first click side is it can be hard to scale. It can be harder to scale. You're going to hit a ceiling at some point and you're not looking at every single path along the consumer journey. And the biggest thing on the data-driven side from a con standpoint is you could be undervaluing touch points, especially as you start to learn things. For example, you could be undervaluing the way that remarketing is playing a factor out in the wild. You could be undervaluing how brand is performing. There's a lot of different instances here, but in my opinion, the upside on things like data-driven position-based linear is just so much higher, especially as you test things out because there's so much more upside on the way that your ads could be performing if things are set up properly from a data-driven standpoint compared to last click or first click attribution. Now, I know that was a lot. We got in the weeds a little bit. Let me know what kind of questions you have regarding attribution. What are some of your horror stories? Because boy, do I have some as well. If you'd like to share them, jump on Discord with me. Link will be in the upper right-hand corner. And you can chat with me and some members of the community about what you think about attribution and just some digital marketing things in general. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.